All right, I'm about ready to go on a trip to Livingston, Montana this morning. It's Monday morning, and I'm taking you guys along. Uh, Paul Ammons and I are going to go. He uh, He's a local friend. I said he'd drive me over. And uh, I'm going to... Uh, I'm polishing my sunglasses because I'm going to need them. Anyway. Uh, how do I look? <laughs> Time to play with some clay. I've got two clays I'm going to take to the Boundary in Livingston to get bids on. Uh, this one here, somebody's shown an interest in purchasing a copy. I need to get a bid on that one. That's Under Heaven's Sky. Or uh, uh, Under Heaven's Roof, I'm sorry. And then the Mountain Man that I did a few months ago. Alright, we're on our way to uh, Livingston, Montana. First, we're going to make a stop in Bozeman and pick up uh, the pieces of the mold that I've got to uh, take to, to the foundry in Livingston. And uh, I've already got the clays mounted in the back, as you can see. So I'll come back in a few minutes, show you progress on our trip. Hi, right, we're finally getting to the Madison River in the Bear Trap on the way to Bozeman. People have been traveling this route here for over 30,000 years. They found evidence of it uh, through this canyon. That's how long they've been traveling here. I had a friend drive right through here one time and almost hit a mountain lion coming down to get a drink of water. Another guy was driving behind a truck with a load of beehives and it tipped over and he had to brave the stings of the bees to go try to save the uh, truck driver and he looked terrible after doing that but boy, what bravery that took as a beekeeper here yeah it takes 5,000 stings to kill you and he had a lot of them or something like that. Yeah. Unless you're allergic to it, it takes one. Yeah. In the summertime, thousands of people go floating down this river. Yeah. And at the base of that mountain, right straight ahead, there are teepee rings in the grass. And where the bridge is that we're going to cross was an old toll bridge or toll house for the toll bridge that used to go across the river. Swans right there. Oh, and we got swans. This place is so pretty. I didn't know about those TV rings. I didn't check that out. Now dead. Oh, that's snow. Thought it was a dead deer. <laughs> <laughs> What's the temperature? 42. 42 degrees right now, that's pretty good. Yeah. But my son and I came here, Jason and I drove here and I had my truck break down right here. And they were, the archeologists were uncovering the toll house that was here. And uh, there was a buffalo shoulder blade in the fireplace. And right out there in the river is uh, a couple of pilings. I know you can't see them probably. That's where the old toll bridge used to be, where the wagon trains and the stagecoaches and everything else that came through here. This is the old Bozeman Trail. And this up here is uh, Ted Turner Ranch to, on the left and on the right. He keeps his buffalo right there. Yeah, I know. Uh, I All right, there's the moles back there for uh, approaching storm. And we're going to be taking that over to Boyer Bronze from here, which is Northwest Art Casting.
And there's Scott, who owns the foundry. Oh, I wasn't recording. I thought, I almost told you that. I almost said something to you. <laughs> you said GoPro turn on. Yeah, and you I, never said start recording. Yeah, yeah. You had to do another yeah. take here. Okay? Yeah. Okay, like, take two. <laughs> This, we're passing through the canyon. Are you recording now? Yeah. Right. Between uh, Bozeman and uh, Livingston. And once we get out of the canyon here, the uh, pass, that's the end of the Rocky Mountains. And from here on, it's nothing but the plains, the great plains of the United States. This is the end of the Rocky Mountains right here. I mean, that's really hard to believe, isn't it? It is, yeah. But you can see it right there. I mean, yeah. It just starts flattening out. And this is where uh, the buffalo roamed. Oh, my God. <laughs> you where want, the deer you, and the antelope that? play, <laughs> where seldom is heard oh, a discouraging man. word, and, and the, the skies are not cloudy all day. day. Home, home on. We're not even drinking. No. We just had a Wendy's hamburger and probably got high on the bank burger. All right. See you guys in a few minutes. Coming up to the exit here that we take for uh, Livingston, Montana, and the Foundry. It's only about a half hour drive further, wasn't it? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. We exit on 333. That's a good number. Boy, that's a... 333. Yellowstone National Park. Okay, the uh, oh, they have a huge uh, um, lumber yard over here. Okay, well, I think we go through this stop. Yeah, we're gonna take a right. He said left though, right? The town's that way. Let me let me pull over. It was Willow. Yeah. Boom. Okay, what was the address? I can't remember. 94 Willow. All right, we got it figured out. He's only two minutes away oh. from the exit. Now we can go straight and go right down into Please Paradise Valley and go right into Yellowstone Park North Entrance okay. from here. Turn right here. Let's make a little more. Boyer Lane. Well, it's right by the truck yeah, stop. I got it. This is this Boyer, so it's up here a little bit more. For that car turn. Yeah, we got it right here. Right here. It's blinking there. I'll find it. Billman. It doesn't say we're arriving yet. No, but I'm supposed to take a right up here. This truck is blocking us, so. But we need to get to there, so we have to turn back around and go the other way. I'm supposed to go right over here. Ah, shit. I'm putting a road in. We'll have to go back around. All right, we made a wrong turn. Well, we didn't make the wrong turn. We had a truck blocking us because they're putting a new road in. Yeah. I feel like lumber. Oh wow. Money on the hook right, there. It's gonna be right over here by the Oppersons. Alright, we're good now. Gotta be right here somewhere. I kinda of thought this was where we should have turned in the first place. Oh well, yeah. Says it's right by the it's truck stop. Exactly. You don't wanna do the right thing the first time. Well, you know, I <laughs> just want you to know I was right. I know you do. You were absolutely wrong. Well, I was just doing a little scenic, you know, driving and just checking some stuff out. Yeah, whatever. All right, so where's this place at anyway? That's probably back here. It's probably over here on the right, on the left over here. I wonder. Uh, let's see. It's going to be right in here. I've never been here, so we're both trying this for the first time. Let's see. Let's see what my map says. But it's right here. Hold on a second. Let's see what this thing's going to say. Come on. 
where are we at? 94 Willow. We're on our quest to try to find Boyer Bronze. I got a feeling it's this place. Wouldn't they have a sign? Well, look at the stuff address? outside. It looks. Uh, Let's drive it, back. That's a, that's drive a, back there. It's not gonna. No, it's a remodel. They're remodeling the place. Are you sure? Because it, Let me just look here. Why would they have a? Why place? is there no address or signs on anything? Well, where, me, where are you taking me, Dave? Well, What's really going on here? Hold on a second. GoPro <laughs> stuff. I was exactly right the first time. He was wrong. Well, Dave, what I'm doing for you here? You're getting a little <laughs> bit older in life. I'm making you feel better. You know, I do this on purpose sometimes. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Anyway. I guess we're pulling right in here. Where do you want me to go? Right today. Yes. Like right here? Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, I've never just, been here. You just want to give me orders. That's all you're trying to do. All right. Okay. Well, we're leaving uh, Levingston. It's been about two hours. He came up with a pretty good bid on both of them. The one of the standing mountain man is a lot more expensive to cast. More than, well, about double what it costs to cast the other one. And it's because of the complicated uh, in, you know, undercuts and things like that. Every time they have to do the undercut and cast a, a separate piece, it costs more. But the uh, casting cost on the uh, Heaven's Roof, under Heaven's Roof, is uh, pretty darn good. All right, we're heading home. It's got probably about 100, about 100 miles. Well, probably about 100 miles. So about an hour and a half of a drive. All right, got the clay back in the studio. I'll start working on this uh, probably tomorrow. I got to do some cleanup get the hair detail done a little bit better and get it ready to go to the foundry if the gentleman wants to buy it. And uh, I'll put this one aside. I just wanted to basically get a casting cost on this one so I know at least where to set the, the price of it. All right, I'll be taking down that piece for now until I get uh, that one done. But uh, we'll do that next week, this coming week. All right, good night, everybody. Have a great night, and I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.